This is question 9 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Uh, here we're given a diagram. Uh, we're told that ABC is parallel to EFGH. So that length there is parallel to that length there. We're told that GB is equal to GF. So that length there between G and F is equal to the length between G and B. Uh, and then we're told that angle ABF is equal to 65, which we're given at the top. Um, we're asked to work out the size of the angle marked X. Now, the important bit that we're given here is give reasons for your answers. Um, generally speaking, if you have got an angle reasoning question where you're asked to find an angle using angle facts, half of the marks are given to the reasons. So what I like to do is I like to um, follow a format whereby I say what an angle is and then the reason why that is. Uh, that angle. So what angle fact have I used? So we're going to follow this format. So the first thing I'm going to do here is recognize that I've got parallel lines and that if I have got parallel lines then what I can say is that that length, that angle there is going to be exactly the same as that angle there. So I know that this angle is 65. So I'm going to write this down. I'm going to say the angle and then we've got angle B, F, G is equal to 65. And then my reason for that, so I can say that the reason for that is that because I've got parallel lines, I can say that the angle, this angle 65 is alternate to that angle B, F, G. And so I'd say that alternate angles are equal. Okay, so that's my first angle. The next angle that I'm going to figure out is, now what I should recognise is that I've actually got a triangle here. That, so I've got this triangle here and I've got two lengths which are the same in that triangle, which means it's an isosceles. So because it's an isosceles, what I can say is that that angle there is going to be the same as that angle there. So 65 angle there. And so I can say that angle, uh, and this angle at the top is FBG, angle FBG is equal to 65. And then my reason for this is that the base angles, so the angles that are at the bottom on an isosceles triangle, so base angles on an isosceles triangle are equal. So, um, we found out two angles. Now, the next angle that I'm going to figure out, and if I figure out this angle, I'm getting very close. What I can say now is that because that angle is 65 and that angle is 65, then I can figure out this angle as well because I've got a triangle and angles in a triangle at up to 180. So, this angle here, 65 and 65 is 130. So, this one here must be 50. So, what I can now say is that angle angle and what's that angle FGB so angle FGB will be equal to 50 and then my reason is going to be that uh, angles in a triangle sum to 180 sum to 180 degrees. So last thing, now I can see that these, this angle 50 with X, they at la, la, um, they're on a straight line. So I can say that X will be equal to 130 degrees. And my reason is going to be that angles on a straight line, sum to 180. Just going to abbreviate straight line. So, um, just to recap here, nicest way to set out your work when you're answering these is to simply state an angle that you know. 
state an angle you know, then give the reason. Then, and, and, and like I say, work your way through it very methodically. Angle, reason, angle, reason, angle, reason, angle, reason. Because the, when it says give reasons for your answer, it essentially means give angle facts. Um, say why you have done the calculation that you have done. And as I said, that's the, the, the reasons can be worth half of the marks on these types of questions.